yeah uh, we will start now the next model after uh, single parameter model that is uh, tanks in series and axial dispersion we are going to talk about multi parameter model multi parameter model yeah so the name of this one is colette cloutier model these are the first people who uh, suggested this model yeah right actually yeah, yeah, if someone is interested i can also give the reference this is canadian journal of chemical engineering volume 37 that is what normally we write page 105 1959 i am sure most of you would have never born there at that time okay yeah so normally what we visualize here is that we have a, a cstr something like this we have yeah so continuously we have the fluid entering and continuously coming out volumetric flow rate volumetric flow rate this is v right and we have a stirrer so this is the actual real uh, mixed flow reactor what we will show and here what we can expect the non idealities will be the bypass straight like this without spending much time it may go as bypass okay that is bypass and you also may have dead space this is dead space so when i have this situation how do i model so that means actually i have an active zone something like this that is active zone then i have some volume in dead space and some bypass right so to write the equations first i should have a model in my mind and that will be shown something like this i have uh, a active zone so this is the active zone then we have the stream entering into active zone this may be v and volumetric flow rate and uh, yeah there is a dead space that is dead space and that means the active zone i am showing this one as active zone and the volume of this will be va capital va and the volume of this will be vd right vd is the volume of dead space and now we also have the bypass is shown like that that means practically it is not spending any time inside the yeah any time inside the reactor yeah to show active zone we are showing this uh, stirrer this is bypass so this volumetric flow rate v is split into now this is va small va volumetric flow rate going through active zone and this is vb okay and both of them are coming and then again uh, you know yeah mixing here what we see is some concentration c okay and i can solve this one either for uh, pulse input or for step input let us take step input where continuously i am sending the concentration the step input okay concentration of time t equal to 0 c0 time t equal to 0 so then we are writing the balance after some time t to this uh, to this model you see now uh, this is what you have to do also you know most of the time when you are modeling and the physical system you have to imagine that what are the problems how do you break up the problem into this kind of diagram where now it is very easy for me to write the uh, you know equations for each zone right like for example this is active zone you have only perfect mixing here what is the flow rate entering va now i have va into ca not 
uh, uh, C naught because it is a tracer input, right? And then here it is coming V A and C A that is coming out, right? And I have the bypass now V B and what is the concentration here? C naught, very good, right? Because I think you know it is practically not spending any time inside the reactor, so that will have. Now these two mixing with this C A and uh, volumetric flow rate V A. Here also volumetric flow rate same thing V A because we are talking about constant density systems, right? V A entering, V A coming out. There is no volume expansion under this. So the here V B and with C naught. So now this V A C A, V B C, uh, V B C naught together will give me V into C A. That is what I see, right? But this is all black box. In fact, this entire thing is this. What I put here is C naught. And what I get here is C. That's what I know. Uh, because it is not very ideal, that means you know uh, the response is not C is exponentially decreasing with time. Then I have to imagine now what could be the reason. The reasons may be dead space. Whenever you have perfect mixing, we also listed out what are the possible uh, non-idealities. Okay. Whenever we have uh, plug flow, we have also seen what are the possible non-ideal uh, non-ideal parameters. Okay. So for plug flow, what are the non-ideal parameters? Channeling. Axial mixing, axial mixing should not be there. Okay, axial mixing must be zero, ideally. Yeah, radial non-uniformity because uh, uh, actually we expect for ideal system, the radial uh, mixing equal to infinity. That is not there. Then you also may have dead space. Dead space, particularly in the corners when I have packed bed, right? Normally, simple uh, tubular reactor you may not have, you may not have dead space. It is also not good to unnecessarily put the parameter which is not physically existing. Like you know, if you take normal uh, tubular reactor without any packing, then you have normal di the diameters. What you choose, I told you, you know, four inches. Okay, occasionally we say six inch. Six inch is really large, right? So then in six inch, and also what is the length? Length will be sometimes you know 100 meters, 200 meters, 500 meters also. Okay, so that's why you put like this, like this, like this, right? So this flow disturbance we are not talking. When you assume ideal plug flow, when you have the same diameter. Normally, we never expect dead space in this kind of thing. But whereas, if you have a packed bed, packed bed diameter will be one meter, okay, two feet, or three feet, or four feet, or five feet, right? Sometimes very big means even it may be two feet. I mean, two meter, six feet. So now, for that six feet uh, feet, you don't normally put. Either you put a conical feet that will again eliminate dead space, or otherwise you put flat like this, uh, okay, like this flat, and then that is the feet. So all this, this is all this is packed bed. So again, it is coming like this. So this area, uh, this volume, this volume may be acting as okay. And on top of it, if you loosely pack the packing, then you may also have bypassing, like this. Oh, sorry, channeling like this. Bypassing is the word which we use practically when it is not spending any time inside the reactor. Whereas uh, channeling, it will spend some time. And particularly when you have uh, packed bed. Or tubular reactor, very lengthy tubular reactor, or maybe short tubular reactor. Definitely, that stream will spend some time. That's why we we say it is channeling bypasses, and short circuiting also sometimes used. I think loosely for both, right? The correct word for short circuiting again is bypassing only because it's short circuit. It's not going the way it has to supposed to go at all. So that's why some books may use short circuiting, some books may use bypass, some books may use channeling. Chan what you have to understand conceptually is that channeling means you will have that stream spending some time inside the reactor, whereas bypassing and short circuiting means practically zero time. I mean that too when compared to your mean residence time. Okay, mean residence time. If, if uh, mean residence time is uh, let us say 10 minutes, and it is uh, when it is spending only one second inside the reactor, then that we call it as bypassing. So like that. Okay, whereas in the packed bed. When the uh, when you have ten minutes, at least three four minutes it may spend in the channeling, yeah, in the in the reactor. Okay, that we call it as channeling. So that's why we have to remember that. Yeah. So all these phenomena we have to put now in this diagram, and then we have to now write the equations for this. And we know we have already one or two equations here. Capital V is split into V A plus V B. So this is equation one. I will say V D. Okay, and small v is split into v b, a v a plus v a plus v b. V b is bypass, and v a is active. That is number two. Okay, so now, uh, yeah, 
uh, now I have to write the material balance for this particular active zone, right. So, here again we have tracer input after some time t and tra tracer output and uh, accumulation and reaction, right. So, anyway reaction we are writing only for tracer balance, yeah, reaction is 0, tracer balance, okay, let me write again once more input, output plus accumulation plus reaction. Okay. So, reaction equal to 0 and these things we are, you already know what is uh, input V into V A into C naught because we are giving step input. Okay. Tracer balance for step input, step input is C naught. Okay. Good. So, now next one is V A plus uh, V A into C A plus accumulation is huh? Yeah, we are writing only for this active zone. So, V A V C A by D T. So, this is the equation, this equation 3 and what is the matrix, I mean uh, the boundary condition for this? You will have T equal to 0 and C A equal to 0 that is B C. Not seen. That is initial condition. We are writing, you know, the, the, that equation is a tracer balance, right? At time t equal to zero, what? And also, this this equation gives me the response in the outlet. So, what is the outlet concentration at time t equal to zero? Okay. So that is what. Don't get confused with the inlet thing. Okay. Good. So that is what. So it is here. I have C A equal to zero, right? Yeah. So now when I when I when I solve this already we have this solution. This is C A by C naught equal to 1 minus E power minus T by T bar, no? So, here T and that T bar will be V A by V A by V A, capital V A by small v, that is T bar A if you want, right? Correct, no? Yeah. So, I have written that V A by V A as, as it is T bar A, right? Okay. Yeah, good. So, this equation is uh, equation 4. So, now this equation is no use for me. This equation is no use. Why? Because this is in terms of variables which I cannot measure. This is my imagination. My imagination is that uh, uh, you know in this one I have an active zone where through the active zone V A is going and also V A is coming out and that will have C A after perfectly mixed, all that is my imagination. But what I measure is only V into C naught, V into C. So, now that equation has to be converted into C by C naught, which is F T, because we are writing for step input. So, what do we do? That means, I have to eliminate C A and we have to also eliminate V A and yeah, this so capital V A and small v A, right. So, for that we have another balance here. Okay. So, if I take this one as L and this one as K points. So, balance at K, tracer balance, okay. tracer balance at K, yeah, anyone can uh, tell that? Yeah, this is, you know, two streams are coming, yeah, V A C A and V B C naught. V A C A plus V B C naught equal to V V C. So, this is equation 5, correct no? V into C only, right? Yeah. Okay. So, now using this equation, we should be able to eliminate that particular one. Uh, sorry? This stream, V naught, you see, it is again grams per uh, second only, molar. Uh, Sorry, uh, mass uh, mass flow rate only we are talking. V B C A naught is coming here, and V A C A is coming here. Together will give me V into C. What puja? Correct, no? Yeah. Okay. So now this one, and now we have to write this equation in such a way that all those things are eliminated. The first one, what we can write there is C A by C A naught. I am not giving the mathematical details. You have to just uh, find out that this is V by 
V A C by C naught minus V B by V A all small V s. So, this is equation 6. Okay, can you get from this? Simply divided by C naught and then you will get that. Okay, and also arrange, right? So, why I have done this one? Because I have here C A by C N. This so first I have to eliminate, right? The C A by C A naught is, uh, yeah, one, if I eliminate, if I write this equation in terms of this, then I have C by C by C naught, okay? Yeah. So, now substituting equation 6 in 5, I'm oh, sorry, in uh, 4 and rearranging, you write that. There are few steps in between. I think, you know, you have to do that. Substituting equation 6 in 4 and rearranging, what you get is C by C naught equal to uh, okay, V A by capital V, 1 minus E power minus T by, this is uh, T bar A. So, that is V A by V A, that I put the bracket, right. So, this whole thing is in the bracket again, plus V B by capital V. So, this is equation 7. Actually, this is sufficient for me, but to have slightly more meaningful parameters, let me define alpha as as V B by V. What is the meaning of this? So, 1 minus alpha will be naturally V A by V. Yeah. Yeah, Abhishek, you are telling something? Yeah, fraction of bypass. Okay. So, if V B by V equal to 0.1, then I can say that I have 10 percent bypass. So, alpha equal to 0 0.1 means 10 percent bypass. Bypass. The remaining one is which is going through active zone. So, this one is equation 8. So, similarly, I can also define another one beta dead space, which is V D capital V D by capital V. This again gives me if beta equal to 0.1, I will say that I have 10 percent dead space. So, out of 10 liters, one liter is the dead space. That is what is the meaning of that. Okay. So, 1 minus beta will be active zone. So, this is V capital V A by capital V. So, this is equation 9. Good. So, if you substitute these things and also we know that it is F T. So, substituting, uh, substituting equations 8 and 9, equations uh, 8 and 9 in in 7 okay then what we get is ft equal to c by c naught yeah so uh, we have 1 minus uh, 1 minus 1 minus alpha e power minus 1 minus alpha by 1 minus beta into you will get T by T bar. Okay. Okay. That is all. Yeah. So, R I can also write F T equal to F theta. F theta, uh, let me also write F T equal to F theta. Only thing I have to write here is this is 1 minus 1 minus alpha e power minus 1 minus alpha 1 minus beta theta. So, that is the equation. This is the equation for f theta in terms of theta. Good. So, this is equation number uh, 9, this is 10, this is 11. Good. Okay. So, yeah. Now, what is the idea? Uh, idea means, you know, why did we derive this first of all? <laughs> I have to ask that question, I say. Always I have to bring you to the basic question. Why are you doing all this? So, because sometimes you may forget. Correct, no? What see me? Why you have to do all this? 
you may be thinking that okay sir it is coming in the examination that's why we have to come here because you asked us to come what is the non materialities ha huh? ah abdul sir like to assess the to quantify the non materialities yeah to actually quantify the non idealities in a real cstr where we expect some kind of back mixing sorry some kind of uh, dead space and bypass. bypass okay that is the idea now how do i use this equation to do that because now this is the model for me right rtd models we have written no like we understood everything clearly okay that is rtd models that is a model now for cstr with dead space and bypass okay now what do i do with this model Ah, whoever has the loudest voice, I hear it. Okay, Rahul, tell me. Yes, do the recent test and get the alpha beta value, and with that alpha beta value, I can. Okay, simply doing the recent test, it gives me alpha beta values. No, no, no. Fit the data with this equation. Yeah, how do I fit that? Magla, magla. No, that can be universal answer for anything. Whatever I ask, go to MATLAB. Are you going to eat uh, lunch means yes or MATLAB? So now for everything MATLAB. Okay. Anyway, correct. Yeah. See again, as he said, I can feed f theta, and also I can give a guess value of alpha and guess value of beta, and then try to match, right? But there are other simple methods also which you can do. MATLAB is not the ultimate, right? So before going to MATLAB, if you want to have that, I am telling you, you know, all the time feel, feel, feel. That feel should come first for the subject. Unless you have that feel, you will never enjoy. otherwise it is just ritual rituals no one will enjoy right you know that no one will enjoy the ritual that's why it is called ritual in fact okay so that means it is just repeated mechanical so that's why if you go to matlab every time you will not have any feel because you don't know what is happening inside the matlab right you cannot go and see that and uh, only thing is you may be imagining this may be happening this may be happening. by the time you think answer is there okay so that's why afterwards you don't think also that's why before going to matlab if you are doing some exercise it will be very very good in this case particularly when you have one parameter and uh, two parameters you can always graphically do that and then get the actual parameters actual parameters also ha huh? yeah the values you don't have to go again fit and guess and all that i think unnecessarily it is wasting of power and all that correct no computer power and and india doesn't have any power at all throughout the country i think we have only uh, power cuts power cuts power cuts luckily in iit we are not facing that outside it is hell correct no how many hours you have power cuts uh, two hours is very small okay ah uh? yeah in andhra they give only power for two hours <laughs> here cut is two hours okay not only in andhra many states maybe kerala may be self sufficient no you also yeah, have i think maybe gujarat i think that's all ah, gujarat people say gujarat is maybe self sufficient even delhi also you have power cuts and all that so why unnecessarily wasting by going to you know when you can do it very simply right how do i plot this to get the you see always whenever you have the equation that's what i don't know whether you got the real meaning of third chapter in levon sphere see someone has to tell or you yourself should be able to imagine that okay third chapter of levon spiel if you now go back and then see right every equation you will try to arrange that as a y equal to mx y because straight lines are very easy to understand and and also you know to see whether it's really falling in straight line or not right and then from slope and intercept you should be able to get whatever you are supposed to get right so anyway for that you need only two parameters if you have three parameters i think we cannot unless you have put the another parameter co constant and then you can do okay for various things good so that way we can actually plot this as 1 minus f theta ln oh okay plotting first yeah ln 1 minus f theta versus theta what will happen to this rahul if i plot like that negative will i get a straight line So you get yes, a straight line. Yeah, because I will simply bring this one minus here, or uh, yeah, one minus f theta, one minus f theta. I will take this side, this one, 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 one. I will bring. So then this will be, you will get as slope and intercept. Okay, I think uh, uh, if you do like this, you will get very good straight lines. 
because first drawing the line putting the points later okay <laughs> normally in the lab we have to do the reverse huh? please do don't don't do this okay first you have to take the data put the points if it is straight only join straight line okay if it is curved and all that don't try to join a straight line because there may be something wrong what you have done but i came to know that in our department also i think few people are there who are putting first lines i mean even earlier rep school draw the line and put the points and then take those points and put in the notebook take to the show it to the guide sir wonderful experiment yeah it will be wonderful <laughs> when you, whenever you first draw the line so please do, because something noble prize information you may be missing if you are not real really to true i say <laughs> so there may be a noble uh, a prize information you may be missing unless you really collect the data and then see and a number of times if you do and then if you are not able to explain some phenomena experimentally what you observe then that is equivalent to noble prize only because someone if you are able to explain that this is what is happening now i can tell you when you start heating water you put the heater and then switch it on the electricity now imagine that it is slowly temperature is decreasing that is worth noble prize yeah but why it is increasing i mean why it is decreasing it is supposed to increase correct no then you have to give the proper explanation for, for because of this reason it is decreasing you try to prove that really i think you know then you will have the, or you can simplest thing 1 plus 1 equal to 5 you prove you will get again noble prize <laughs> if you if, if you really able to prove so that is why don't i think those people who are doing experiments they never try to cheat you should never try to cheat because there may be real i am not really joking now but there, there may be wonderful information which you may be missing you just force it even though it is not a straight line you imagine that it must be a straight line and then just draw the line there may be a clear trend that it may be going like this and you say that okay draw the line somewhere horizontally or for that excel is best there is a linear option one point in adyar another point in palikarni another point in saidapet still it joins as a straight line okay because i think you know excel so i think that is the best option if you want to do but don't force that i think you know adyar palikarni saidapet it is a curve like this it goes okay that you are trying to force as a straight line which is not correct no noble prize goes there okay so this one what is the intercept <coughs> ln of 1 minus alpha and what is the slope yeah this will be 1 minus this is negative only 1 minus alpha by 1 minus beta so first you go to uh, yeah, uh, first read this line and go, get to alpha and uh, get the slope uh, alpha already i know and then you can calculate beta right so that is the one and we can also show this oh my god of an organa okay we can also derive an e theta yeah that also you can do but i think there is there is another important information d of by d theta cannot give you exactly but you have to have that physical feel and then do it 1 minus alpha square by 1 minus beta e power minus 1 minus alpha by 1 minus beta theta okay there is another nice information there something else okay that something else is plus alpha delta theta equal to 0 what is the meaning of this abhishek what is the meaning of that that is because that bypass rahul is not abhishek abhishek is not rahul <laughs> okay yeah unless you say that sir i am now substituting for abhishek you are substituting Ra can you think of that ah uh, yeah rahul tell me that's because of the bypass bypass will come after only like that c not the immediately come before to not come immediately after what you, you said bypass comes after something yes sir ah uh, when some certain time sir where is time there what is delta theta equal to 0 immediately oh, sorry yeah direct delta function is there eh? when the direct delta function is valid so that's why again you know always i will bring to you that uh, earlier thing so that you remember number of times it is only grinding 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 okay it's a mixer only 
That's why I am again, I, I know that none of you would have not noticed that. So, delta theta minus uh, theta equal to 0. So, that means that bypass because it is not, what is our definition of bypass? It is not spending any time, I mean, practically 0 time. So, the moment it goes to uh, the bypass, it appears in the outlet. Correct, no? It appears in the outlet, right? So, that is why, what is the time taken by uh, this stream to come to the outlet? Zero. That is what our assumption, bypass. Right? But in reality, it may not be, but our definition of bypass is that. Right? I mean, definitely it will take some time. Right? So, that is why this fraction and how much is that? That is alpha. What is alpha? Fraction of the bypass. Fraction. So, that much amount of tracer will come if you take the area under the curve as 1. Okay? Area under the curve as 1. So, this will be, let us say, alpha equal to 0 0.1. So, that 0 0.1 area as direct delta function will come at time theta equal to 0. That means, instantaneously it is coming out. Right? And that is getting mixed in the outlet and then coming out. I know that you actually you cannot see. Right? But if you are able to plot that e theta, if you are able to plot e theta, how do you, what kind of curve you get? This is exponential decay. There is some constant here, that is okay. Yeah. So, that means it may not start at uh, theta equal to 0 means this is 1 and this will be the 1, that is starting point. Correct, no? At theta equal to 0, then this will become 1 and uh, uh, that, uh, okay, let me plot that, e theta, theta, right? So, this will be somewhere here. What is that value? 1 minus alpha square by, correct, no? At theta equal to 0, this is 0, okay. So, then it is exponential decay. And anyway, there is a constant yeah, again here 1 minus alpha beta, 1 minus alpha by 1 minus beta. So, it is going like this, right. Okay. Now, what is the other portion? How does, uh, where, where do I see that? That is all. So, you will get a sudden drop. Not sudden drop, a peak there. Huh? And then it comes. Suddenly, it, it starts here. Okay. And that depends on the area, you know. Yeah. So, uh, and then from then onwards, it drops out. Okay. So that's how you have to plot that. Anyway, actually, I don't know whether you still remember or not. You just see what is the curve we have plotted with bypass or mixed flow. Only yesterday we discussed. Yesterday, day before yesterday. Yeah. Peak sudden, and then it is coming exponential decay. Correct, no? You have drawn that? Ah, sudden peak and then slowly comes out. So, that is what is that? There we have not shown exact direct delta function. There we have shown sudden peak like that and then slowly coming out. Okay? Good. Excellent. Okay. Okay. This is nice. So, uh, I, I will ask Pooja a very simple question. Pooja, when uh, alpha 0, beta 0, what is the equation? For e theta. E power minus theta. Very good. And for f theta? I mean, what, what is this E power minus theta? Is it the correct? Mixed ideal ideal mixing fluid. Okay. For f theta? Alpha 0, beta 0? That is what is the equation for no, ideal. ideal. Yeah, for ideal mixing flow. Okay. So, now the next one is how to develop a reactor model with bypass and dead space. Okay, reactor model with bypass and dead space. So, that is what is the next one. Okay, understood, no? The sequence you understood. That is why, you know, approach to the subject. I think in the last RTD models, what we have done is, first RTD, estimate non-idealities. Okay, amount of axial mixing or amount of dead space, amount of channeling. Now, you cannot do anything with that because you, you, don't, you are not able to correct that. Then, use that information and calculate what is the real conversion real conversion. And as you said, if there is a possibility of converting and improving, real conversion will be less. Right? Ideal conversion 90 percent with this alpha beta values, you may get only 65. Either you live with that or you go to the system again and then try to convert, uh, uh, increase the, increase the stirrer, okay? increase the rating, uh, you know, speed of stirrer or change the stirrer, you will get dead space almost 0. Okay? and see the position of inlet and outlet. If they are in correct position without much bypassing, 
correct it, okay, such that there is no bypassing, then you will get an ideal reactor. Right? So, once you get an ideal reactor, again you have to calculate conversion. So, that is what is the sequence with the RTD models used for uh, you know always first estimation of the parameters, next using those parameters find out conversions. That is all. I mean at least those things you note down in big letters in the page in your uh, notes I say. Those are the things which you have to remember lifelong, even if you are not becoming a chemical engineer later. Okay? Good. So, now, conversion in real MFR that is with, with dead space and bypass. Okay? Good. Again, I should have a model here, because now I know that I have a reactor with bypass and dead space, because I conducted the RTD experiments and then estimated those values, they are there, they are real now. So, that is why we write another uh, same model for reactions now. So, here I have stream entering, stream leaving, this is ideal right and uh, we have the bypass. Now, when I show this one for uh, reactor, no? we are, yeah, okay, let us say that we have the simplest uh, reaction A going to R first order, okay? constant density because A going to only R. So, this is volumetric flow rate, this is F A naught, this is C A naught, x naught equal to 0. Here I will get uh, this is V F A C A and X A, those are the things normally we see. But actually here I have uh, dead space, this is again V D, this is V A, this is V is there anyway. So, this is small C A, sorry, small V A, this is small V B and uh, here of course, those things are right and then what is it, what else? Yeah. At this point, I have now uh, yeah, V A V A and C A A. Say A, well, capital A is for reactant, small a is for active. Okay? Good. So, that is the one. So, here I have V B and what is concentration in this? C A naught. Okay? Good. So, now what is the procedure? First anyway, we are going to list out the same, uh, the first thing is capital V equal to V A plus V D. So, that is equation 1, small v equal to V A plus V B, that is 2, same thing. So, now balance here, balance for the active zone, okay, yeah, here also I have C A naught right now. Okay, Pooja, what is entering? Okay, M B for A, capital A, reactant, huh. V A into C A naught equal to, that is input. Oh, I have to write this, no. Okay, let me write once more. I am writing so many times, so that you know, those who do not want to remember, can remember. <laughs> Correct, no. So many times, if you write, neural system automatically accepts that. Accumulation plus reaction. So, now accumulation will be 0 reaction because steady state, right? Okay, yeah. Now, tell me Pooja, V A into C naught and output? C A A. V A into C A A. Excellent Pooja. Once more. <laughs> v A into C A A plus? Ma reaction minus R A. Ah, minus R A? Into V A plus V D. No, V A only. Right. So, when I have this one as minus a uh, going to R as minus R A equal to K into C A for first order reaction. Second order reaction I will ask in the examination. Okay, first order reaction I will take. Okay. So, when I write the next one also, so that will be V A C A naught. V A C A A. Ah, okay. Now tell me, Pooja. Minus R A equal to K C A. No, it's not K C A. K C A 
Can or you know? Reaction is here. And what is what is that A? You said only one A, you have to say twice A. Right? K C A A. Okay. She said that? Yes. Wait, I have not heard. See how many supporters are there for you? No supporter for me. Okay. This is K C A A V A. So this is equation three. Ah. Huh? I think it's happening in that There's no reaction. When it comes slowly from the That is another mode. That will have third parameter. Right? So that's what I want to tell after this is over. Because that zone is really dead here. Right? But in reality, it is not really dead. It is only just alive kicking. Okay? A little bit again. So then what happens is, because now he asked me, there is an exchange of material between dead zone and active, active zone. zone. That is how much is the exchange is another parameter. Then it becomes three parameters. Right? Because uh, now it is dead. So that is why I, I am interested only in this, uh, uh, this one, you know, uh, active volume. And this is dead totally. Okay. Ignore it. So like I have been doing, you know, there may be some people who do not participate in the class at all from the beginning. From the semester onwards, I ignored them. Dead space, okay? That is equivalent to dead space. If there is a little bit exchange, that is another parameter. How to bring them again to the class, again explain to them all that, right? I am not saying I know I know anyone like that, but still, I am just uh, saying, okay? Good. So that will become another parameter that we will discuss at the end, okay? So now this one. Now as usual, I have to now <coughs> eliminate uh, uh, this unknown unknown volumetric flow rates like V A. C A A, that's all. Okay, yeah. And I have another uh, equation for. Uh, okay, uh, I think this is simplest one. Let me from equation three. Let me write this one as C A A by C A naught. Correct? No. Equal to anyone? V A by. V A plus. K capital V, correct, yeah. So, this is right. So, now I have another equation which I can write that is here, balance again K. So, this is L, this is K. Yeah, who will tell now balance uh, at K? Yeah, K balance. Balance at K, okay. Which V A? Small V A or capital V A? It's a small V A. Ah, small V A into? Small V A into uh, C A A. C A A. Plus uh, small V B. Excellent. C A naught. C A naught. Equal to uh, small, uh, small V into C A. That's all. Very good. Very good there, man. That is fine. Right? So, as usual, we will now try to eliminate using this equation. Again, I have to write here C A A by? C A naught. So, I divide by C A naught. Uh, yeah and also arrange in this fashion and then try to that equation because we have done already I think I will just give the final expression for conversion first order okay yeah from equation 4 and 5 okay I will write here from equations 4 and 5 that means you have to show the algebra when if I ask that as a derivation and again here also we are defining alpha equal to small v a by uh -huh, small v a by v small v and beta equal to v d by capital V capital V d by capital V that is again fraction correct no Rajshri same thing I mean, one minus are written just for the other thing. So, again using uh, yeah, this is, this may be this is uh, 6, this is 7, correct no, is something, please point out if I write something wrong, you know, uh, when I write something wrong, oh, that is what she was telling, right, right, very good. You know, we can also define alpha that way, but this is straightforward, right, alpha point 1 means, then I know it is 10 percent, that is uh, bypass, okay, good. So, that is why, yeah, right, thank you, Rajeshri. Okay, good. 
So, now using 6, 7 and 5 and 4 use uh, from equations 4, 5 this I have to comma 6 and 7 we get the final expression as C A by C A naught equal to alpha plus 1 minus alpha square 1 minus alpha plus 1 minus beta k tau or k t bar. Okay. Yeah, k tau and uh, somewhere I would write tau equal to t bar also. So, this is equation 8. 8. So, that is the equation. Okay. So, now of course, if I say that I have only alpha, there is no bypass, my input and uh, inlet and outlet properly maintained. So, then what will be for alpha 0, case 1 alpha 0, alpha 0 I have C A that means only dead space C A by C A naught equal to 1 by 1 plus 1 minus beta k tau correct now. Okay. For beta 0 case 2, C A by C A naught equal to alpha plus yeah 1 minus alpha whole squared by plus k tau. So, that is okay. case 3 both 0 alpha equal to beta equal to 0 yeah C A by C A naught equal to 1 by 1 plus k tau. Okay. This all this I think we are experts. So, this is 9, 10, 11. Good. So, I mean what parameter seems to be more effective here? That means, is it uh, dead space more dangerous and uh, are uh, you know again the question is that to easily answer for you, is it heart attack which is dangerous or is it diabetes which is dangerous? Yeah. So, which is heart attack here, which is <laughs> out of those two, which is heart attack and which is uh, beta is heart attack, very common. Huh? Why do you say bypass is dangerous? Huh? Okay. For this you answer after really plotting for different alphas and betas. I have that here plots, okay. But I want you to think. I mean, this something I have to leave, uh, you know, for thinking, right? But logically, what do you think? Bypass. Bypass. Because that fellow is not practically spending any time at all, you know, in the reactor. So and that that comes and mixes with already re 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 reacted part. If it goes away without mixing, it is fine. No problem. No, no, it will come and spoil, it has to come and spoil this also. So, that is the reason why in fact bypass is dangerous. So, try to eliminate bypass rather than dead space, but unless you are a greatest uh, fluid mechanics engineer where you do not know how to design stars at all. Okay. <laughs> if you do that everything will be dead space. Okay. So, that is the worst case, normally we do not expect that. Okay. So, that is why you just plot that, you know these are the things very simple. Uh, uh, puja that happiness will come when you are able to plot, see and interpret on your own. No, real happiness comes in interpreting on your own I say, understanding on your own. Okay, listening the teacher is okay, because there may be some difficult concepts where if someone explains, oh you may be thinking that okay, I understood. But the real happiness in the subject will come only when you understand and when you when you are able to interpret. And when does that come? without cursing if you do all assignments. Then only that happiness comes. Otherwise, if you cursing also doing uh, assignments will not make you happy. Because I am there all the time in the mind rather than the problem. Okay? Correct? No? I am the problem, not the problem is the problem. <laughs> because I always think that oh this KK fellow, so many assignments, so many problems. I think why he is troubling us? He is a rain painful guy, he is a true virus. So, all that you will say. Okay? No, really, you may be thinking, you know, at least or not all, few people may be thinking that. So, that is why those people have not come also, you know, this was earlier full. 
but now this has become a void edge here okay ah i don't know dead space or empty space i think <laughs> okay good so this is the one and now the question is if i want to make this one as now next parameter three parameter model then i have to put an exchange coefficient here right yeah so this will tell me how much of the volume is exchanged between active volume and dead space right so that equation will be much more complicated in fact uh, my guide who, who retired long time back i did only my phd here professor vibh ji varma he one of his phd students uh, they have done this model for fluid acid bed actually there was another parameter also called number of tanks in series see what they have done was they have done uh, a multi stage uh, fluid acid bed where that fluid acid bed will be something like this this is the down comer this is the down comer this is the down comma that, that that three stages okay like this maybe five stages they have taken okay so like this yeah and uh, you feed here solids will go come here solids will go come here come and then you may take out here send the gas here gas comes out solids solids okay this is called multi stage fluid acid bed one bed is above the other bed so you when you fluid you send the same gas so then uh, thomas also did uh, similar experiments okay for drying he has used this one for drying and then uh, uh, the particles will start coming here this is counter current so they come here and then uh, through the down comer they come and this is one stage on this stage there may be bypass of the solids because in a fluid acid bed the solids contacting pattern is idea uh, mixing flow the solids will be always in perfect mixing right so you are sending gas and gas will try to also have the bubbles and bubbles will create very good mixing between the particles okay so that's why any time when you look into uh, fluid acid bed gas solid particularly so the solids will be jumping here and there and if you put some colored uh, sand in that or, or or colored material then that colored material will be immediately dispersed throughout what is the meaning perfect mixing that is the meaning okay but if i have designed my distributor loosely then i may have one side fluidizing another side not fluidizing what do i create then dead space dead space and some solids may be slightly jumping here see when you are putting the solids are jumping up and down because of the bubbles like this so some particles directly may enter here because of the bubbles bursting there taking some of the particles and then uh, directly coming through this down comer that goes to the next stage so what are the parameters here bypass is one parameter dead space is one one parameter and when they also did that experiments they put when uh, they put the tracer actually uh, red sand and uh, no blue sand and white sand they mixed it a uh, mixture means fluidizing they added uh, blue sand under some gas flow rates this uh, the, there was some cluster of uh, blue sand sitting there and then slowly that is dissolving into the mainstream that is what is here so it goes to this this one will become dead some part and then slowly this blue will go to the white white will go to the blue uh, come to the blue and then slowly it dissolves so that means it is dead space is not really dead then it is actually exchanging the material between active zone and and then dead zone and that ratios also you have to define properly and then that means how much of material in the dead space okay is exchanging with the amount of material in the active zone that is, there is some ratio definition so that will become another parameter that will become third parameter bypass dead space exchange ratio between the dead and thing and also number of stages this is 1 2 3 4 so how many parameters now four parameters that's why they had four papers in chemical engineering science okay <laughs> it is not each parameter but there is a solid work right so uh, that's why it is actually uh, that's why when you are modeling you have to understand the system now you know in this model everything physics beautifully explain the model model beautifully explain the physics the model has come based on the physical observation observation what is happening you know you put the uh, sand right some solids colored solids immediately short circuited or bypassed so then that means i have bypassing right then dead space i think no reactor uh, no distributor can be perfectly designed anywhere 
for distributor for uh, uh, any system where there is a distributor because it is found that distributor has a special disease when you have the distributor particularly if the area is more then whatever velocities you, you send equal velocity through each and every perforation is impossible to go right so through some perforations you will have low velocity through some perforations you have high velocity because of the material moving up and down even if it is liquid if you have observed i don't know any one of you saw a distributor plate with a liquid where a gas is sent from the bottom like bubbling then you can see it will have waves bigger the diameter bigger the waves so whenever you have the higher wave then you know delta p across this is too much then it will not go through that it will go through the other uh, height so there those gas there will be active because it has less resistance because liquid, liquid height is less then where is where you have more liquid more delta p gas will not go through that so that will act as so whenever you have distributor this is a automatic disease for the distributors okay so dead space is justified and the jumping of the particles to the down comer straight away bypass and then the exchange also you know between dead zone and active zone and physically i see four stages are there five stages are there right it is called four parameter model good next semester i can tell you fluidized bed has been modeled using six parameters also and they got wonderful results okay bypass can it be negative it is a physical quantity you should get you know at least uh, 0.1 or above zero right even 1% bypass 10% bypass or maybe 100% bypass if you very nicely design <laughs> nothing is going into the reactor everything is bypassing only okay that is possible but what do you mean by negative uh, 10% no don't imagine how can you have negative uh, not, coming. not coming at all not coming means alpha equal to zero so that kind of stupid values uh, people have uh, have obtained by simply going to matlab <laughs> wow what they have done was they have that uh, the model and then six parameters all six guesses they have given because guess unless you guess and give matlab it cannot start correct no it is a fuse fuse is you your guess okay so i am telling fuse because i think next week you are going to again burn your money you know just like that Diwali time, crackers. Okay, there also there is a fuse. Unless you you start a fuse, yeah, lightning, fire. Then otherwise, you know, it won't burst. No, same thing here. MATLAB cannot work unless you give the guess value. They are given the guess values. They got this kind of wonderful. I think all volumes also dead space minus ten. How do you interpret? <laughs> so that kind of stupid values they got for one of the fluidized beds. that i can tell you next uh, semester okay good so this is what we mean by okay thank you uh, avinash to ask that question because multi parameter models i could uh, give right so i have also uh, uh, rahul you got that uh, papers mm -hmm.